Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am finally showing you my stationary organization and collection. There's nothing fancy to it. I keep it in my six drawer Alex units. I have another one next to it that contains like computer cords, yarn, knitting stuff. But I'm showing you guys this one today and how I store all of my odds and ends for planning. This doesn't include my sticker collection or organization, so I'll be showing you guys that in another video, but let's dive in and show you what's in these drawers. So this first drawer contains all of my Doris sticker books, some extra random stickers that I'm currently not using, so out of season stuff or just leftovers from kits as well as my Sharpie brush pens. I like to use these for practicing handwriting and calligraphy or anything like that. So this is my stack of Doris. I don't have tons. I used to have so many more, but I downsized to make it fit into this top drawer. So I don't get any more than can fit in a stack in this drawer. So I have like Spring Garden, Easter Sunday, Garden Royalty, Give Thanks. A lot of these are the original ones that I got before I went a little crazy with these. So I got rid of a lot of the newer ones. So most of these you probably won't be able to find anymore. But we actually sell this St. Patrick's Day one, or we used to, I'm not sure if we do anymore. County Fair, lots of Easter ones, cause I just love Easter. We actually sell this one still. Mermaid Tales, Aquatic Explorer. We still sell Ride My Bike. And I think we sell this patriotic one too. So just a bunch of different ones, basically one for each holiday, and then a couple for ones that I'm really into. Of course, I have to have a Shopkins one. And then I have some more Christmas ones, and then the Valentine's Day one that I used in my monthly view. I always have an extra coil on hand, so if I buy more planner covers, which I'm known to do. I have one to carry that. And then underneath the bin, I have some handwriting practice sheets from Kelly Creates. This bin holds all of the backs to any enamel pins that I have on display. Then I also have a couple of random ones in there as well. This accordion file, like I said, just contains a lot of random out of season stickers. I kept the seasonal box card from the first Erin Condren box. I just like to keep that kind of stuff so I know what came in the last months and I can show you guys that information. And then I also have a ruler. Drawer number two is where I keep all of my weekly kits as well as my sticky notes and what I use for my bullet journal. So let's start with the weekly kits. Any sort of kit I keep over here in their baggies or loose. So when I'm trying to decide what I wanna do for the week, I can just look through this and look at all the kits I have and decide which spread I wanna do. And then I go into my accordion file, which I'll be doing a video on my sticker organization and collection for Saturday's video. That's where I go and get all of my like weekly everyday kind of stickers. I have a little pack down here full of a bunch of different Erin Condren stickers. And then I have my little binder from Ashley Ann. On this side, I have some of these breakfast sticky notes. We actually sell these in our shop. And I just think they're really cute and a really fun way to add a little note into my Rifle Paper Co. planner or in my Erin Condren one. They're just really fun to use. Then I have sticky pocket corners one of each of the Erin Condren magnetic bookmarks. Never know when you need these, so I always have quite a few of these on hand, as well as a large stack of the original sticky notes. These are still my favorite ones to use. And then I have a couple of large sheets of stickers that can't fit into my accordion file. I just tuck those under there. Back here, I keep my carry-all clutches and planner cases. I actually use a lot of ours now. We make these exact planner cases. Ours are actually an inch bigger, but I use those on a daily basis and keep my Erin Condren ones in here just in case I need a little bit more storage when I'm traveling or whatever. So this is where I keep all of the supplies for my bullet journal. I have my bullet journal in here, some colored pencils, and just some odds and ends tucked in there. I'm currently not bullet journaling, so I just have it stored in here. 
This third drawer is kind of a catch-all of everything else planner related. A lot of my personal planner and the My Prima Planner stuff is stored in here. So this first stack is all of my inserts and dividers and anything for my larger A5 Prima Planner, as well as a couple of pencil cases. Then in the back, I have my two dashboards from Erin Condren, the travel one and the party planning one. I also have some of the taller dashboards. I keep my large Erin Condren folders here. I like to save those for special occasions since they're so nice. And then I also have my giant stack of Erin Condren stickers tucked under there. So if I ever need any of those. This is where I keep all of my random planner supplies, things I definitely wanna keep, but I may not reach for all the time, but I still wanna have on hand. Back in this corner, I have some of the brand collaboration sheets I made for my personal planner that I got from Michaels. I don't use these anymore, but I took a lot of effort to make these, so I'm just keeping those stored back there until I need them again. I also have some notepads from my Prima planner, just in case I need them or decide to go back to that planning style. Underneath the dashboards is where I keep all of my notepads from Erin Condren. I have quite a few, so I just tuck those back there if I ever need a new one. Then I also have some saved note pages from a old Erin Condren that I was using. I'm pretty sure this was actually a notebook. That's how I get my spare coils. I actually uncoiled this to save the note pages if I want to add any more to any future planner, I have them, but then I also have that extra coil. So that is everything in that drawer. I'm moving on to the next one. This next drawer is actually my favorite drawer. It's so exciting because this is where I keep all of our old subscriptions or anything Oh Hello has created that I'm really proud of. So this mostly contains subscriptions, but it also has enamel pins and the blobbies we had commissioned by Pixel Pearls are back here. And I just have a lot of random stuff. So I've saved every subscription since we first started. I don't have some of the like 2015 ones. I do have the first two original ones and then I like skipped a few months and then I picked it back up at the end of 2015 and I've saved every single one since. If you want a little spoiler, this subscription is the current one you can order. It is a cactus themed one and you get this custom cactus pin. So I have all of our enamel pins as well as all of our greeting card subscriptions as well. So it's a huge stack. There's tons of stuff in here. And I like going through it and seeing how far we've come. And it's also really handy if I ever decide to do subscription videos to show you like past subscriptions. Obviously this is the drawer where I go and find all that. So I also included like all the rolls of washi tape. Each one has every single roll of washi tape we've included, every card. I love this drawer. It's gonna be really cool to see how far we've come after a couple of years. I'll probably have to upgrade past this drawer soon because it is getting pretty full. The last drawer is probably the least exciting, but this is where I keep all of my stationery and envelopes. I have tons from Erin Condren. I purchased a buttload when we were getting married. So I have tons of our like thank yous and stuff that I can use all year round. Since I am a Benda now, I can use these whenever. And then I have all of the envelopes associated with those. But then I also have a stack of just regular random stationery and some stamps. All right, guys, there you have it, my sticker and stationery organization. This is basically the bulk of my collection. I have my planners elsewhere as well as my covers, but everything stationery-wise I keep in here. I will be showing you guys my sticker collection on Saturday, so if you want to see my like everyday stickers and how I carry those around, I only keep my weekly kits in here, so I'll be posting that video on Saturday, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed looking through my stash and leave in the comments any other videos you wanna see. Like if you wanna see my planner collection, my cover collection, anything like that, leave it in the comments. But that's gonna be it for today's video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on Saturday. Bye.